hello 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 my lovelies welcome to happy mantra i hope you've been amazing i am fabulous so i left kenya and yeah i left kenya it's been three days since i left kenya i am in zanzibar in tanzania and this place is amazing guys so now let's talk about kenya my review on kenya i i really have nothing to complain about i really really enjoyed my stay in kenya everything was so smooth from the immigration and for the rest of my stay i didn't have any problems at all and in fact kenyan people are so welcoming they are so humble they're very helpful and my stay was so easy i didn't struggle with anything and the food let me speak on the food it was amazing kenya has um the best restaurants like modern restaurants and i really enjoyed my time visiting um each of these restaurants it was so amazing i just love a well-developed country that has like diversity when it comes to food because you know people visit our countries from all sorts of other countries in the world so sometimes um it's really nice to get in a place uh, that has food that you can you know eat or you're familiar with than just eating what they they have to offer in their country so that's one thing that i, I really enjoyed about kenya transport so easy to get around they have bold you know the app uh, taxis they have bolts they have uber and you can use tuk tuk or whatever like a motorbike and stuff but i enjoyed using bolt it was you know very convenient very fast very affordable and yeah i just really didn't struggle with the transportation now the coastal side of kenya is so beautiful the beaches clean beaches white sand blue water i, I was so thrilled to see that part of kenya when you speak about kenya to a person that doesn't know kenya they wouldn't even think that far you need to experience it for yourself to understand how beautiful this country is i went to watamu watamu was so beautiful quiet um very serene environment then i went to diani diani was a bit vibey there was more to do in diani and yeah it was it was really nice guys i really enjoyed my time and i would definitely go back to kenya it's just that the the immigration had only given me 30 days to be in kenya and my days were finally coming to an end so i had to leave but kenya is one of the places or country that i, I that will always be on my list whenever i want to visit um you know a serene and beautiful country so guys thank you so much my beautiful kenyans for supporting me i gained uh, a lot more subscribers in kenya and you guys welcomed me um beautifully i really enjoyed um you know speaking on kenya and you guys you know you came through for me and you were just you know pleased with the way i represented the country and yeah for that i'm i'm, I'm always gonna be thankful uh, i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys so um right now i'm in zanzibar i'm in tanzania i hope you stay tuned because wow this place is amazing and there's a lot that i'm gonna do here i hope you stay tuned and you know grab that popcorn and stay tuned on happy manchas channel because wow there's just um a lot of things that i want to do at the same time you know like there's just a lot and i don't know where to begin but yeah right now i am in the coastal side it's called nungui it's the most vibey uh beach side it's amazing it's you know everything is fussy there's a lot of people there's just people are happy and it's so exciting to be here actually i've never been to tanzania in my life and this is the first time so guys stick around like let's explore together 
let's just see what tanzania has for us i hope you stay tuned what i'm gonna play next is um you know my my journey to tanzania and what i got up to when i got here i had to rest for the past two days i was really tired so i was resting but i did you know shoot a few videos of the restaurant i went to eat at and yeah i hope you just have an idea of the kind of place that i am in and what i'm gonna be doing and stuff so stay tuned and watch what happened when i came to tanzania i hope you're gonna love it, my lovelies. Um, I'll see you in a bit. So my lovelies, my trip to Tanzania was so smooth guys. I used a bus from Mombasa to Dar es Salaam which was 8 hours long and it left 5am in the morning. The trip was long, I was sleeping most of the time and of course we arrived safely. And we spent the night in Dar es Salaam. But the next morning at 6 a.m., we were up, we caught a ferry to the famous island Zanzibar. The ferry was the best experience of my life, first time experience, and yet the best time for only $35 over a one and a half hour journey. We finally reached Zanzibar and oh my, am I in love with this beautiful place. The minute I arrived, I could already feel good energy. It was so satisfying. What made this trip even more interesting is that my best friend flew all the way from Qatar to spend time with me over a few days and I was so excited. We arrived in a place I find very special, Stone Town. Just the name gives me a good feeling. With its architecture that reflects diversity of the Swahili culture, this place has a unique mixture of Arabs, Persian, Indian and European elements. The heart of Stone Town mostly consists of maze of narrow alleys lined by houses, shops, bazaars and mosques. You can find a lot of bikes and motorbikes here because most roads are too narrow for cars. Zanzibar is famously known for being one of the world's top touristic destinations visited by many people from all over the world. Today, I am one of those tourists and I couldn't be more happier being here. Now, let's check out a few areas we visited once we touched down. We went to have lunch at a very beautifully located restaurant called the Beach House Restaurant. It was so stunning, the views were extremely nice, we enjoyed our time here.
while we sat there we noticed a floating bar on the ocean that just took our attention and we just knew we really want to explore it We took a sailboat all the way to the floating bar which was a very brave and spontaneous experience as it was our first time. The waves were crazy, at some point we screamed our lungs out, it was so funny. But we managed to get there in one piece, the views from the floating bar were more than fantastic. Just what I was told I would experience, mind blowing. We stayed until night, it was so hard to leave this bar because of its intriguing ambience. But at some point we had to call it a night and the next morning we took a drive outside town to Nungui, one of the best beach sports recommended by locals here. It was an hour away from Stone Town. This place is amazing guys. We arrived safely guys and when we got to our hotel, we quickly checked in, went into our rooms, then we quickly freshened up and we just didn't want to waste any more time and headed out to the beach side.
the beach is super white water is super blue there is a lot of movement and i could already feel the vibes we headed out to a restaurant called cinnamon very beautiful with ocean views and I just fell in love with it this beach side my lovelies was very very lovely there were a lot of people so many activities to do on the water there there were a lot of boats you could take a boat ride there were horses you could ride a house there were swings you could you know be on a swing and just enjoying beautiful atmosphere of this area beautiful art there were um, a lot of stalls for maasai that had very artistic products that you could purchase if you wanted any really really amazing Once we settled in this beautiful restaurant with astonishing views, we were ready to eat and get that little energy to be in the mood just like everyone else. later on it was time to take pictures and we went into the ocean with views of the beautiful golden hour i was just taking it all in and enjoying this moment we really had fun guys Please stay tuned for more, stick around for my upcoming videos. Road to 3000 subscribers, let's go! Share with your family and friends my lovelies. Make sure you get a notification on my next video by clicking that notification bell. Don't be left out. I hope you enjoyed this video my lovelies i can't wait to show you more about zanzibar stay tuned from me it's all love toodles Mwah.